Hey guys, my notch is in life here. The Crusadia God, and I'm back here again with another test stand deck profile for you. I think I've even broken the deck just a little bit more. And I keep innovating it, making it stronger each and every day. Now I'll just do a couple of test hands and a combo tutorial. Let's see what we open with. And I made this deck as consistent as possible. So more than likely you always open up your combo and that's your combo right there. Okay, you know, obviously you can just search out with the fossil dig, use that as an ash bait. Use that search for your gillosaurus. Where are you at, gillosaurus? I mean, almost be next to each other. There we go. Search out a gillosaurus. Then you know, just normal some of your Draco. You can link your Draco right off. Oh, it's right here. Go right into your Magius. Special summon your Gillosaurus. Trigger off your Magius to search out another Draco. Link these two guys off for your Spatha. Special summon your Draco. No effect. Link your Draco off. Go into your LP. Spatha so I can move LP over. LP spec. Special summon red eyes from your deck. Red Eyes Effect targeting your Draco. Bring back Draco. And then you link for four. You go into your Saryuja number one. Saryuja's Effect. Let's just shuffle up and cut and show some more. Cut. And since we have Monster Born, we automatically have our Dragon Extender, even if we don't draw into another one. One, two, three, four. Oh, we drew into another one anyway. So you can keep that. You can put back these three. Ah, well, you can put back the Silent Boots too. Keep the other Chupacabra. Put back those three. Special not this. Banish your Spatha. I only moved my graveyard over just a little. Sorry, guys, about the messy setup. There we go. This is our graveyard banish section. Now you link this guy off for your Pitsy. You add. Activate your black dragon to add your white dragon to your hand. You can special summon your white dragon, banishing your red eyes, add the pitsy's effect to grab it from your banish zone. So you just keep another dragon or a dark in your graveyard if you draw into your levy in there. Activate red eyes effect, bring back your Draco. Link two for the you know the Argapain. Argapain's effect summon summon your crystal wing. Now you link all four of these guys away. For your Sarija number two. You can activate your black dragons in your graveyard's effect. Search out your white dragon. Wait, no, I think it Oh, it was your white dragon that, that we just sent. Sorry about that. So there's your black dragon. That's what you start with. And since you have a lot more darks and lights in this deck, I would suggest still run the 2 2 and line up with the black dragon, white dragon. So it doesn't matter which one you open with. Either way, whichever one you have or drawn to, you always be able to continue with your combo. Okay, now cures where things get a, get a little bit, they get a little cool. At. You add your Monster Born. You can bring back your Draco. Oh wait, crap! We never even draw four cards. Sorry, scratch that. We searched this out. See, we could still do the combo even without the search draws, but these just make it just a lot better. Let's see. You can put back your Black Dragon, put back the Phantom Knights Fog Blade, and you can put back your Leonis. You don't need any of them. Activate your Fossil Dig just to get another extender. Get out your Gillosaurus. Okay, now you can activate your Monster Born. Bring back out your Draco. Activate your Chupacabra's effect. Odds are you're going to get one of them to, to summon out to the field. And draw another card just to extend a little bit further. One to four. One to four, five, six, reroll. One. 
Which we got, we got sent. We have no other dangers, so that's fine. Activate your other one. One, two, five, six. Gilosaurus got hit. That's fine. Now we summon our, our other Chupacabra. I think Chupacabra's effect to draw one card. And now we overlay these two guys. We go into Abyss Dweller. Now we can spell summon our Arborea to a link point. And then you just do the Orcus combo. I'm just going to fast forward right on through all this. Pretty much you just bring out this guy over here. And you bring out Galatea right here. And then you end with the, you know, the, the three fog blades. And the crescendo. Like we all pretty much know how to do the orcs combo, and that'll be your ending board with this test hand. And this was a pretty okay opening, as you saw. But the only way it will be stronger is if we draw into a kill to waterfront, then we'd have the gamma seal. And that would pretty much secure the game. Now let's go into test hand number two. Hey guys, here we are with test hand number two. I'll just keep cutting and shuffling. And like I said, this deck is, I made it, it's like 57 cards, I believe. Three from being 60, but with all the extra cards, people a lot say it's bricky. You know, all the extra extenders, they really get you into your combo. Because if you play this deck with 40 cards, you'll see that a lot of, some of the time, not a lot of times, but probably about every fifth or sixth hand, you'll probably draw a no Crusadias. To open up your combo, but and you open up just one crusade and just a whole bunch of other uh, extenders. But I mean, not really extenders, but just playmakers, and then you won't be able to have your combo. So I add in all these extra extenders just really to, or turbo cards, some people like to call them, just to get into your full combo. And let's do another test and just straight. I'm not gonna go through the full combo of this one since you already pretty much know. And this is full combo again. But for this test stand, I'm actually going to show you how you, how you play a test stand like this. Now you can do one of two things. I recommend if you're new with the Crusadias, I would just do the safer alternative. But you can just summon your summoner mux, which is to defense position. Activate your summoner mux effect. You can ditch out your quick launch to grab your Maximus. Link off your Maximus. into Magius. Oh, you'd have this on the field too. Special summon out your Draco. Activate your Magius effect. Add in Crusadia. Link two. Special Effect mm -hmm. the search And then you get your gate receipt Which is how you check you got your three ding gates on that, which is still a pretty strong opening board. You didn't go negative, you still have five cards. Or a little bit differently, what you could do, which if you don't really care about the gamma sale, you could do it like this. Let's see, what was your opening hand? Your opening hand was these. Uh, no. Well, who wasn't in your hand? Oh, yeah, Maximus was in your hand. Let's rewind a little bit, show you another alternative. Summon your summoner monk, ditch the waterfront. Same thing. Go into your Maximus. Whew. Link off. Link off your Maximus. Go into your Magius. You can quick launch. This should be the level four rocket monster, the, the Magna Rocket Dragon, just because you want to have as many level fours, just so you can go into the Best Dweller. Activate Magius effects and try to Drake on your hand. Just search any other Crusadia. Go 
link these two guys off for a Spatha or you at Spatha. Link your Rocket Synchron off for an LP. Move LP over with Spatha's effect, and then you pretty much go into your full combo. Just like that. It's just this way, is if you don't get the start, you just realize you won't have the game still. So, which is a lot stronger, because then you can also do the Orcs combo, which this is why I, I did it just to show you that you can do it either way. And Summoner Muck really opens up a lot of plays in this deck, that's why I really recommend it. Now let's do, an now let's do another test hand. The really reason why I keep innovating this deck because the deck is just a whole bunch of just extenders. Like the Crusader engine just extends. Like you see people running in Danger Thunder and just Thunder now. I was doing that months ago. You know, I give give me my credit, but the deck is just it's just really powerful. It just it's just underrated. It's untapped potential, and so you could really throw any engines into this. You could throw dinosaurs, though I said before, the Thunder Dragon engine. You could throw the dangers in there. But I'm only running the three Chupacabras, the Turbo, the Abyss Dweller. So basically, it's like make Time Thief or Abyss Dweller. And Time Thief can disrupt your opponent, but the good old Abyss Dweller can end turns. That's why I recommend running that over to Time Thief. And let's do another test hand. And again, that's your full combo right there. Summon that link off. You can search this for another Guild Source because you run three and three in this deck. And you can use it just as Ash Beat. And even if you get Ash, you always just go into Orcus combo. They're playing with four cards against your three negates. Or starting with four cards, so they're going to have five cards. And more than enough times, they're not going to be able to break through it. Now let's do another test hand. I'm just going to be going through testing and just show you how consistent this deck is. And then we'll get into the deck profile. See, look at that. Four Crusades. Let's just put that at the bottom of the deck. That was a lot of Crusaders right there. Let's put it at the bottom. Let's not even shuffle it back up. And for this hand, you would just have to go into Orcus combo. Unless your upstart goblin was a good Crusadia monster, it wasn't. So for this hand, you just go into your Orcus combo. Because your two monsters would be Quick Launch. If it doesn't get Ash, if it gets Ash, then yeah, your turn ends. Then Destrudo, that's your two monsters. You can discard Orcus Nightmare and just go into Orcus combo. But more times than not, people don't ask the first thing you do. Because they think it's a bluff. Oops, sorry, I shuffled my bed. But you see, the deck just doesn't break. It's like, no matter as long because you can get the two monsters almost in every single hand. Like, I probably only had about maybe five out of uh, 27, 30 test hands that like, was unplayable. That didn't have a way to get two monsters on the, on the field, or just two Crusadias, or a Crusadia and Extender. It's like, I really recommend picking this deck up if you like Usadius and just throwing a whole bunch of turbo cards, as you say again. Then you have your Kyoto Waterfront. That means you're going to be going on a full, full combo with the Gamma Steel, Best Dweller, uh, your Orcus combo, your Vardish, and your Galate with your three fall, or two Fog Bleeds and the, the Omni Negate. Put that at the bottom. Let's do the next one. Oh, here's all those Usadius again. Again, full combo. It's like no matter what in this deck, it's either you open up with your Crusadia engine and you go for full distance, or you open up with, oh, here's an unplayable hand. Let's see, I see I said it happens, but here you go, you saw four test hands and just one brick. Which the upstart goblin can unbrick you depending on what you draw. Falsa Dig, you have two monsters, you go into Orcus combo now. Falsa Dig got your Gilosaurus, normally some of your Gigabyte, or Orcus Knight, or Orcus Symbol Skeleton, which you probably don't want to do though. I mean, you can do it. Yeah, I would recommend doing that with the Orcus combo. Then you have an Orcus Nightmare in your hand. Again, just go into your Orcus combo. And we all know how prevalent Orcus is, and that's the thing about this deck. It's already like that you can change it between Crusaders or Orcus combo. So if you really don't want your opponent to know what you're playing, hell, if you open up the Orcus engine, you just do that. And then they can't break your board. Okay, you go to game two, you side out all the orc stuff, and then you just put in your card juice, and you can see the OTK, and then they're signing Lancias and all this other crazy stuff, trying to stop you from banishing, and then you're just going for the one shot. Like, I've 2 old a uh, Orcus player. That was, that was pretty That was pretty good. That was a pretty good guy. My local still had 2 old him. I did my full combo game one. Game two, he tried to crescendo me. I red rebooted him, and I did, I, I gave my kaiju, the Thunder King. 
I had my dog run on my field. Or I gave him the die run. I think I had Thunder King and that had Maximus. Double battle damage attack. Did over 8,000. One shot. It's like the, this deck is dangerous. It's, it's too inconsistent. And there you go. Full combo gun. With the Gamma Seal. Because you know you want to get your Gamma Seal. Just to make sure you get those negates. That isn't a hard once per turn. Or I mean it isn't a once per turn. It's just. You just keep doing it as long as you have counters. And then with the Crystal Wing. You know, if that destroys a monster in the field, you get another counter. It's so always recommend you use your Gamma Seal Negate first, put your counters at three, because you're always going to end your turn with max counters. Almost always. If you don't, then you played it wrong, or you just drew it too late. And then you do that. Whatever the first thing is, then you negate it, you banish it. The next monster effect, you wait for it to hit Sun on the field, you Crystal Wing, you pop it. Since Sun was on the field since the grave, you get another counter. Now you got four counters, so you got two more negates. And they're already down to at least, at maximum, four cards. If they didn't phantasma you on your turn. Another extremely powerful hand. And the reason these guys are in there, I run one of each to one of the fairies to send my duck to. You probably haven't seen it yet, but you can drop some of the side, or not, it's not some of the side deck, some of the extra deck if you want to draw the Nyarla as a thought combo. But here's my extra deck right here. It's really tight. You really need everything in here to really go through your full combo. I would say if you want to cut something, you have to cut a probably a Skull Dread and probably like that Pitsy. Other than that, I like this, I like it as it is, and you don't really need the as thought combo to stop them from hand trapping you. Because it's like once they hand trap you, because most times they ask your effect bill the LP or the Spatha, you get two monsters. You turn those both into triple burst since you can't go right into your Cerberus with a uh, Guard Dragon on the field. You do that. Then you have one more extend then well extenders, you just special summon sun underneath the you can special summon like Crusade, you can special summon like Gilosaurus, you can special summon almost anything. Underneath the triple burst dragon, and then you just go into your Orcus combo. And then you know they already ashed their effect village, so they probably don't have nothing else, and then you just go full combo. And then they just don't do nothing, they scoop. It's like it's a really good going first deck, and you can still play going second too, because you always have the, the Equimax. You don't run it. I mean, you run Twin Twisters and Hey Trina. You can run those in the main deck. I cut them just because you really don't see them as much as you would need to. And if you really see them, you only see them with your Surge Draws. So I would just cut them and then just go with the one shot game too. But it's like with this hand right here, you see you have more than enough monster extenders to get your Equimax on the field with getting your Maximus too. Because this would be your Magius, special summon that. And your Magius, you can grab your Maximus, you can special summon. Or you can use Fossil Dig, special summon out your Gillosaurus, turn your Gillosaurus and your Spatha into Maximus. You already have your Maximus in your hand from the search. You can special summon underneath it. Double battle damage, and then you can Chupacabra, and then maybe you draw another another good card. Oh, just another extender. And then you just do that, then you punch them. Or you can grab the Reclusive if they have so if they if they have back row or a floodgate or a thunder and colossus that's hurting you. But then again, you wouldn't be able to grab the Reclusive if they have the Colossus, but. It's also another alternative. Just grab the Reclusia just to pop things. What'd you say? They're just too good. Because this would get you to your Maximus. You discard this, grab any level 4. I would grab the Maximus always. Then you turn the Maximus into a Magius. You special summon this underneath Magius. You go full combo. It's like the deck is too consistent. Like you, as you guys have seen, like I've only bricked one time since I've done all these testing. Every hand you can do something, almost always. Again, full combo. Now we're gonna do a few more. Then I'm just gonna pause the video and I'm just gonna put the deck in order to show you guys a uh, deck profile. This is video is getting kind of long, showing you the full combo. This hand, it's breaking. You know, like you wouldn't be able to do nothing with this one. So we've had two bad hands because we drew both of these. They probably got next to each other because of how we shuffled, but it's all good. Full combo. I think it's the same hand we just drew, so let's that that one doesn't count. We just drew and we got two of these in that next to other. Let's do a power shuffle. Show you guys the power shuffle. And then we will. Hmm. 
If you have any ideas, leave them down below. If you have any boss monsters you want me to try to incorporate into this type, leave them down below. Because as you see the Gillosaurus engine, you can run the Double Evolution pills. You get three more spots. You can run one pill, one Overtex Quadlus, and one uh, Ultimate Conductor if you want. You can run just three, uh, three Thunder Dragons if you want to just run one less Saryuja and throw in the classes for Saryuja. Or if you don't like the Orcs, then just take out the Orcs engine for the Thunder Dragon engine if you like that. Which I think the Orcs engine is a lot more powerful because for Colossus, it's just a monster form mistake. I would say if you want them to have the mistake effect on them, just run mistake. You can run a nice two of it. And you'll probably get into it a lot more than you would think. Or you can help run three of it. Okay, we just did that. Let's see what do we got. Full combo. Again, is you get Summoner Monk, discard the spell, get out your Maximus. Or Draco, you won't always get the Maximus though. Just so you can add something back. That's why some of your clues underneath it. And there you go, full combo. Now let's do this will be the last one, then we'll be showing you guys the deck profile. Oh, full combo again with the Kyoto Water. And you can search out another water front just to give this another counter. Okay, now it's 12 guys, and then I will show you guys deck profile. Okay, here we are with the deck profile. Standard. We run three of each Crusadia, three Arborea, Maximus. Reclusia, Leonis, Draco. It's all pretty standard. I used to run like a 14 lineup. I cut off I cut out the Royal Crown, I think it's called the little dark level six machine extender. Like you could still run it, but I don't really see a point of running it. You run three Gillosaurus, three Danger Trooper Goppers. These are in it just to turn out your level fours as I said in the previous. You run two summoner monks. And then you run one of each of the I don't know what you call these guys, the level the spellcaster extenders. Magus is a spellcaster. Those just help you search out your other your Draco or another Crusade if you need it. Now you run your one of your Gamma Seal, your one Rocket Synchron. This is this is supposed to be the Magna Rocket Dragon, the level four guy. I don't have one. I had one. I don't know. Just don't know where it is. Your quick launch. Summon him out. Now your dragons. You run one Chaos Dragon Lionair, one Red Eyes, one Destrudo. One of each are good. You can bump this guy up just to see it more often, but. You have extra spots in the deck too. I only have the one. I sold my other ones. Now your baby dragons, you run a two-two lineup, which I think is right in this deck because you have a lots of drag. You have lots of dragons. I mean, not. I mean, lots of darks and lots of lights, so you can always bring out whichever one you need when you need when you draw into it when you see it. The three-one lineup it works, but sometimes you open up with two, but two blacks as you saw, or one of one, or more than or multiples, and you see it breaks your hand. That says we're not running a big danger lineup. We're only running 30. You know, you really can't get into more cards easy. Now you're for Orcus Engine. Run two Nightmares. One Simba Skeleton. And one Heart Horror. And I guess you can call Phantom Knights of Silent Boots Orcus lineup card. This just a brick with it. And mostly with these guys, you, you can either discard them depending on which ones you open with. Or you just start usually put them back if you go with the full combo. So it never really breaks in your hand. Now for your one of spells, we have the one Monster more. One Succession, the one Upstart, and the one Reinforcing the Army. These are all just standard extenders. Upstart Gone is a side deck card. Because you want to make sure you play one less card. It helps. Now for your two you got two Quick Launches. And you got two Rare Legacy Guard Dragons. Just more extenders. Fodder for Summoner Monk. Now for your three ofs, you have three Fossil Dig. Just to help you get out your Gillosaurus faster. And you run the two terraformings and the two waterfront. Or one terraform and two waterfront. Sorry about that. And now for your traps, you just want the one crescendo. The one shade brigadine. A level four helps you extend into Abyss Dweller. So if you don't already drawn to it or drawn to enough things to bring out your level four, I would say just grab one flood blade and then the other one, grab your shade brigadine. Bring out your best dweller. It, it ends a lot of turns. It wins a lot of matches for you. It's underrated. Now let's go into our side deck. Now you run the... Oh, I didn't fix this thing up. Sorry about that, guys. These are our Crusadias right here. You run the one max. Equal max. For the OTK, if you ever present yourself. The one Magius. It's for your combo. The one Spatha. It's part of the combo. 
want two skull dreads because your rolls are always good your cerberus and your mermaid and your rusty for your orcus combo your guard dragons your lp your pitsy your argopane and your argopane target your crystal one Oops, sorry, I forgot about the Galate with the Orcus combo. And then your Abyss Dweller, just for the nice flex, you gotta put that on them. Just to win a match. And this is for if you ever get Ash of the LP, you need to go into another dragon just to make your Orcus combo alive. You summon, you make the Spath and LP into this guy, right here. And then you summon something underneath, or just Monster Born something. And then you just go into your Orcus combo. And now for the side deck. The side I could use a little work, but it's just hate true needs. And you got your red reboots. The one twin twister. You got your pranking top, just one. You got your kaijus. The Thunder King, your dog, around your Jisukiru. I like just having the one prank tops because it's like another kaiju because you can always just bust some as long as you point more monsters. If you have, if you link everything in the Equimax, the opponent has two monsters. You spend some on prank tops so a link point, and then you gain twenty six hundred. Just more, just more power. So if you give them a kaiju, you or you don't give them that kaiju because that kaiju is kind of. I mean, I guess you could because these two are both same. Do like this, like that. And then Ecomax like right there. The guy is easily over 9,000. He's at exactly, uh, what, 66. That puts him at 86. Then the notice, uh, it's like 10,200, 10, I want to say. Just off the top of my head. Math is hard. And then you don't have to attack them Kaiju. If they have something weaker on the field, like a Galatea that's co-linked, that came from right better, just attack that game. That's where you're going to get Sky uh, Orcus. Then you have your two slumbers just to clear the board so you can do your stuff. Get rid of their crescendo, make it not live. And just a bait to get rid of their negates if you already have the kaijus in your hand or if you just have full gum in your hand. Just a mind control, just a force to negate. Or get rid of the problematic cards, link it all with something, make your uh, spatha. And then your last spot just for time, you have your Scarlight. Your Arga Paint Target, summon it out. You go full combo. And then you just make this. It's a really cheesy way to win. It, it sucks, but sometimes your combo can take about 10, maybe 15 minutes. If you, I mean, some people can slow play it, but I go through it right fast. So it probably takes about five, maybe eight minutes at most. Thanks again for watching. Sorry about the video being so long. And I hope you enjoyed this deck profile and hope you try it out. If you do, let me know how you deal with it. And make sure you guys are getting my credit. Thank you again for watching.